Hey, Kelly Sags here, American Irrigator, trying to make you a better irrigator. Consider subscribing, that way you don't miss any tips. In this video today, I'm gonna to give you a couple tips and a couple things to look at and to think about to do when you're installing a double check backflow assembly. Let me show you something. Now I've got a double check backflow assembly I'm putting in here, and this is a one inch. And a couple things that I wanted to, to show you, one is, you can see I've got the bo a box turned upside down. So I like to do the double box deal and so that another box will end up sitting on top of that. Let me show you what it looks like inside here. So there's no dirt that can get in around this double check when it's like this and, it, and it, when it's in the ground. And so this is a great way to do it. If you're not doing it like this, I suggest that you go ahead and do it. It's not that much more expensive. I mean, yes, it's two boxes, but it, it just looks, keeps everything clean. It looks better, it works better. It's just a really, really good way of doing it. But the other thing I had a, a guy ask me the other day and we were kind of talking about it and it was something that he and another guy were arguing about is which way should you face uh, this double check? Well, and what I'm talking about is, well, you can see our arrows. The water is going, all going this way. But what I'm talking about is should you put the test cocks facing up or is it okay whoops to face them sideways now I'll say this Let's see if I can get that to sit right there when I first started doing irrigation uh, and became licensed I put them in like this or I started to put them in like this and I can understand the reason the reason I did it is because you've got really good access to the shutoff valves right there but something I didn't think about when I first started and I learned is that it's extremely hard to test this backflow uh, when these test cocks are facing sideways and it wouldn't pass our inspection because our inspectors were real picky about that kind of stuff and not just picky but really the way it's supposed to go and I learned and they showed me it's supposed to go I can turn it up so the best way and really the right way to install a double check is have the test cocks facing up. This is the right way to do it. And if you're not doing it like this, I really strongly suggest and recommend you start doing that. It makes it a whole lot easier to get back into this box. And I'll put this top on here. It makes it easier to get back in here and test this backflow. It's gotta be tested, this commercial job, it's gotta be tested every single year. So you want, when you're installing a double check, do the double box thing and then make sure these test cocks are facing up. It's the best way to do it and it's really the right way to do it. If you've got some, if you've got an inspector allowing you to do it the other way, I recommend you ask them and show them this video and ask them about it. And uh, y'all can come up with a, an agreement on the way it's supposed to be done. So I hope this helps you guys.